So now we're we'll looking at uh, dissecting something from the phylum of mollusca. Um, remember, this is the same phylum with things like uh, octopuses and squid and clams, and we're actually going to be looking at a clam. So for this dissection, you need your dissecting pan, your dissecting tools, glasses, and gloves, and here we go. So with this guy, it's a little hard to tell the difference between anterior, posterior, and dorsal, and ventral. So we're going to call this side dorsal, this side ventral, anterior, and posterior. Now there's a few um, pieces of anatomy you should know before we start looking closer. Um, right here is the umbo, which is the bump at the anterior end um, of the valve. This is the oldest part of the clam clamshell. And then there's the hinge ligament, which hinges the two valves together. Um, and you can see the growth rings here. So hinge ligament and growth rings. And then we have our left valve right here, and that's the one we want facing up. So to get this guy open, we need to cut both the anterior and posterior adductor muscles. So there's one about here and one about here. So we want to put our blade very carefully in here and slice as close um, into the upper shell as possible. Um, and once we get that, we can try to pry it open. Now I've already done this on mine, so I'll take this off. And you can see this is where the muscle is connected, right here and right here. So you have to try to get as close to the top as possible. I didn't get mine entirely off. Um, these are parts of that um, posterior adductor muscles, and this is where they connect, right here. Right, so if I hadn't taken the top valve off, I would notice that there are these extra interlocking tooth projections right here. So when I closed it, they um, interlock and these are just called tooth-like projections. Okay, and there are also things up here called muscle scars. And we actually still have muscle attached on the top of this here that you can see um, around, as well as here, which is where the mantle was attached. And these are called scars because that's where the muscles used to be. And now we have also the mantle, which used to be attached to the top right here. You can see up here, this is the mantle. This all used to be attached to the top of the left valve. And in here we have the mantle cavity, the space inside the mantle. You can actually remove your mantle and see our structures, like our gills right here, which are gonna be used for respiration. We also have gills on the other side of our clam right here that you can see. Um, it's, again, a, a little hard to see on the camera, um, but you can look at it on your own dissection. All right, right here is what we call our muscular foot. You can see it's kind of hard, and we have these wavy structures right here. And um, this is ventral to the gills, so you can find it right here. And um, it, you know, it's gonna be used to burrow into the mud or sand movement for the clam. And right here, we're gonna have a structure called our palps. Now, um, these are flap-like structures that are gonna surround and um, guide food into the mouth, which is underneath in here. Um, and if you lift this up right here, this is all, this is, is called our visceral mass. And this is where all our internal digestive organs are housed. And it's gonna be very hard and difficult um, to move. There's one last part of the clam I wanna show you. This part right here is called the pericardial cavity. And this is where the intestine and the heart are located. Um, now everything else in our clam is gonna be a little bit difficult to see. But as you go through your dissection, um, try to see as much as you can. Um, oh, one more thing. You can probably also find the anus just behind the posterior adductor muscles, uh, which are right about here. Okay, remember, please clean up all of your materials when you're finished and make sure you label everything on your diagrams. All right, good job, guys.